the meet against Maryland last weekend. What did that do to help prepare you guys for what's coming up this weekend? Uh, you know, I really think it helped boost our confidence. Um, you know, we went in, we had a couple of stumbles uh, on floor, um, which was really uncharacteristic of us uh, at this point in the season. Um, you know, so we know what we got to get fixed going into this weekend. Uh, we had our season high on bars um, and actually had a, a really great performance on the vault, uh, despite that we had a fall there. So, you know, we had a little bit of adversity, um, but I think it just shows what we had to fix this week. Big 12 championships coming in. What's uh, what's the excitement level like for you guys hosting your first one? Uh, we're really excited. You know, it's so nice to have it on our home turf, and uh, we've been performing well at home. And uh, so we're just going to go in there, be aggressive, you know, and hope to get our our usual home performance and a, and a solid 196. So, and it's great to welcome uh, two great teams, you know, and, and to be the first Big 12 championship hosted on campus. That's pretty cool. Coach, I want to talk a little bit about Hope Sloanhofer um, coming off her meet last week with the 39.5. Um, what do you think of all her accomplishments this season? I mean, she's ending her season on so many good accomplishments. What do you uh, think? I remember when we recruited her and I told her, uh, you know, when you're a senior, I want you to be doing your best gymnastics. Uh, so to be going into Big 12, coming off a career all around high, uh, that's exactly where she needs to be. Um, you know, so I think that speaks volumes just about how much work she's put in. And it's really a culmination of four years. So, uh, you know, knock on wood, I hope we're heading into the Big 12s here, peaking at exactly the right moment. And uh, she's been a rock for this team for four years. And uh, I'm just proud of her to see she's continuing to do that. And do you have any other hopes for her in the final two meets of her season? One Absolutely. Of her season? I'd love to see her win this weekend. And, uh, you know, regardless of if we get to nationals as a team, I'd love to see her there. Um, you know, to, to finish out her career at the national championship, she could be a great All-American. So that's that's my uh, that's my hopes. Thank you. you guys already had your senior meet, but this will be the last time the seniors compete in the Coliseum. Have you guys talked anything about that, or is that something you guys are looking forward to? You know, we talked a little bit before the senior meet, and I just said, you know, we'll we'll go over the uh, <clears throat> we'll go back in the Coliseum once season's over, and then we'll have our senior moments. Then you know the <laughs> the last final goodbye. Uh, but you know, let's stay focused on the gymnastics, and uh, you know, they'll be back here a lot. Uh, as alumni, so not too focused on it. What are you guys uh, focusing on most kind of going into this? Consistency and just being aggressive. Uh, and that's what today's practice all is. You know, is we, we can't control the crowds, the judges, the other teams, uh, but we got to go up there and do what we do every day and carry gym. Um, so it's, you know, we'll be in a flashier leotard on Saturday and uh, there'll be a lot more noise, but it's going to be our home crowd cheering for us, so. Coach, the fact that you're, you're hosting this event, is it kind of uh... Is this is it for your, you're a part of the Big 12 now, honestly, that you're hosting it and they're coming to you for, for, to Morgantown now? Yeah, definitely. You know, last year walking into the Big 12, you know, it, it really felt like this conference championship. Um, but for us to be hosting it, and, you know, I think it's pretty prestigious. Uh, I'm really excited we're the first ones on campus hosting it. Um, you know, so to welcome to welcome that and, you know, hopefully the, the, the fans will come out and support us this weekend. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's a prestigious event. So it's, it's, it's exciting to be hosting. Can you give us a little bit of breakdown about the other two teams that will be coming in? Yeah, definitely. Uh, us and Iowa State are, are neck and neck right now in the rankings, and uh, it's really going to come down between the two of us <clears throat> uh, in our performance this weekend on who continues into postseason. Um, that's definitely something that could happen this weekend. Uh, Oklahoma right now, um, you know, they're ranked number three coming into this weekend. So, but uh, you know, they're a team that that we can give them a run for the money. Uh, you know, we hit 24, we all start at uh, 10 uh, start values on 24 routines. Um, so it's about staying on the equipment. Uh, but they're both very uh, talented teams, and uh, Iowa State's going to be on the hunt.